Hello everyone and welcome back to Deciphering Weather. In today's video, we're going to finalize our hurricane preparedness week as we discuss how to prep your home for a hurricane. If you like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. So hurricanes are some of the most powerful storms that the earth does produce, ranging from tropical storm force winds of 39 miles per hour to hurricane force winds of 74 miles per hour, category three hurricane winds of 111 miles per hour, to the catastrophic category five hurricane winds that produce 157 plus miles per hour. And all that wind can cause a lot of debris to fly around and cause destruction to some people's homes. So what's some of the things we can do to limit this debris, to limit the destruction that is caused by hurricanes? First and foremost, if you have patio furniture, kids' toys that are outside, anything of that nature, you would want to bring that inside or into a garage or a shed to limit the amount of the flying debris that's in the air during a hurricane. What you can also do is on your property, trim any trees and bushes, especially if they have dead limbs, uh, so that way they're not being broken off by those strong winds and cause more debris to fly around in the atmosphere as well. Another thing that people can do is have hurricane straps on their home. Now, newer homes that are built since, I would say, the 1990s, at least in the United States, this is a re requirement in a lot of hurricane states, like in Florida, where these metal brackets are attached to the wood beams and studs of homes to keep the roof from blowing off. And if you're modifying your home during, in a renovation, it's something you want to definitely add to your home to protect yourself so that way you don't have your roof fly off during a hurricane but and, and create more debris, but also save on your insurance as well because now it's one less thing that has to be fixed after a hurricane. Another thing you can do in your home is have hurricane shutters. Now this is a picture of built-in hurricane shutters where it's a steel uh, cage that actually rolls down in front of your windows and it's part of your home. A lot of people don't have this, so the next best thing would be to buy aluminum or steel shutters that you can put onto your windows anytime a hurricane is coming yourself. And if you can't get aluminum or steel, the next best thing is to go to your local hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's, and get plywood to put over your windows as well. Reason being is because of how the wind works in a hurricane with your home. What happens is the wind comes in, it's ground level, just above the ground, flying at 74, 100, 150 miles an hour, and it's pushing against your home. And you want to protect your windows from breaking so it's not causing a uh, the vacuum to be created in your house to lift off your roof. That's why the hurricane brackets are especially important as well, because your roof is acting like an upside down wing from a plane. When the plane is flying, the lift causes the, the plane to go up in the air. Well, same is going true here, but it's in the reverse. Now the, it's upside down, so the lift is actually causing your roof to come off instead of your plane going up in the air. Now, and you also want to be able to protect your car as well. So if you have a garage, you want to put your, your car into a garage. And if you don't have a garage, the next best thing is to move your car to higher ground and next to a building, not blocking sidewalks or intersections. So that way the building is blocking the wind. And if it's on higher ground, then you're protecting yourself from any potential inland flooding as well. Now, more water damage that can cause from hurricanes is from storm surge. And the best thing to do in storm surge to protect your home is to put it up on stilts so that way all the water is actually going under your home and not through your home. But the best thing to do of all is to actually evacuate. And if you do evacuate, 
you're going to want to secure your home, make sure everything is locked so that way everything stays protected, doors and windows stay closed so they don't cause a vacuum in the uh, to cause the house to explode from the wind pressure and also from looters as well. So to wrap this up, to strengthen your home, you're going to want to cover your windows and strengthen your roof, secure your loose outdoor items, trim your trees, move your car to a safe location and secure all doors. But don't forget to help your neighbor as well. There might be people who can't do all this, so you're going to want to be able to not only protect your home, but protect your neighbors and help them out as too. And last but not least, you're going to want to create a written plan so that way you are you know exactly what you're going to do, share it with your family, and also make a contact list so that and keep your documents together so that way you take that with you if you're evacuating and let people know where you're evacuating as well. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and leave a comment. Please share this video with your family and friends on social media. And if you're new and like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day.